So in the previous video, I introduced um, the concept of correlation and reminded you of where you might have seen this at GCSE, where you would be considering from strong positive correlation through to no correlation whatsoever, and then to strong negative correlation. So it would be very useful in order to compare correlations um, if we had a numerical value to attribute to each of these. Now that is where something called the product moment correlation coefficient comes in. Okay, so it's got a long title, the product moment correlation coefficient. And it's usually labelled as R. So, it turns out, and I'll explain uh, a rough way where this comes from in a moment, it turns out that you can identify uh, the product moment correlation coefficient R as between the numbers minus 1 and 1. So, if you are at strong positive correlation, perfect strong, strong positive correlation, then you would be at R is equal to 1. Then, when you go down to moderate po positive correlation, you're looking at a roughly about R is approximately 0.5. So it's positive, uh, it's, it could be close to 1, but you know, moderate positive correlation around about 0.5. Then when you get to R is 0, you're not going to have any correlation whatsoever. Okay? So n values of R that are close to 0 show that there's really no correlation between the two uh, things that you're looking at. Then, uh, when R is roughly minus 0.5, you'd be in a moderately negative correlation. And then when you get to strong negative correlation, you'd be closer to minus 1. Okay, so when R is positive 1, you're at positive correlation, all the way through to minus 1, where you've got strong negative correlation. Okay, So that's kind of how R is um, assessed, if you will. Now, how is it calculated, and what does it really mean? Well, the what does it really mean um, is a little fiddly to explain. The concept is looking at your data. Okay. Now each of these will have an x coordinate and a y coordinate. Okay. And what you could do is you could find out the mean of the x values. Okay. So you could work out x bar, and then you could plot it on your graph, so that would be your x bar, and then you could find out y bar, so the mean of the y coordinates, and so you'd have this point in the middle, x bar, y bar, right in the middle, and you can see that it kind of splits your data up into four quadrants, and the calculation is then looking at um, the standard deviation of the x's and the standard deviation of the y's. And you also introduce a concept known as the covariance. Now, the covariance is calculated to be x minus the x bars multiplied by the y minus y bars all over n. This is the covariance. Um, and is often signified as S of X, Y. <coughs> okay, so that's S of X, Y. So it's kind of like, um, well, you take the mean from each of the X values, you multiply that by Y minus the Y bar values, you add them all together and you divide through by N. So this would give you the covariance. So it's kind of, it is relatively a, a measure uh, to the extent of how correlated they are. 
the actual value of r is found by dividing the covariance by the standard deviation of the x values multiplied by the standard deviation of the y values. Okay, so this is your um, product moment correlation coefficient, okay, and how it is determined. So this is kind of like roughly where it's coming from. And we now know that R is going to be between minus 1 and 1. So the closer it is to minus 1, the more negatively correlated it is, and the closer you are to 1, the more positively correlated it is. Okay? So, really, what we want to do now is um, show you an example of how we calculate R. Um, but really, I'm going to do this uh, in a calculator setting. So I'm going to show you how to do it on the uh, TI-82 stats calculator um, using a set of numbers. Um, we don't really want to do this by hand. It is very long-winded to do this by hand, as you can imagine, because we've got to find the standard deviation of x, the standard deviation of y, and we've got to find the covariance and plug them all into the formula. Okay? So I'm going to show you a few different kind of problems that we can face and how we deal with that.